Hey, how's it going, YouTube? GT Machine here. We're going to be installing some Shroff uh, racing harness belts to the carbon uh, lightweight bucket seats here, and also uh, installing them on the roll bar. It's already in the car. Um, I looked around a while. Um, there really wasn't much video out there. All I saw was a lot of documents and uh, pictures on how to install these. And I've also looked on Shroff's website on how to install them as well. Um, the person I bought them from already gave me the one bracket. I'll show you that in the video. Uh, but there really wasn't much video out there and I wanted to put together a good video for other you guys and with Porsche continuing to make these and these are pretty much the must-haves for any uh, Porsche GT car or... Alright, so here's the uh, Schroth uh, six-point harnesses I'll be installing. Here's the two belts that go on the roll bar and come down in uh, your torso. Here's the uh, one of the lap belts, the other lap belt, and then here's the... Uh, the two point uh, sub belt. So we'll go ahead and uh, start getting these installed. All right, to install the harness to the bars here, what you want to do is take the belt, make sure it's straight. This is on here like this, and then you go underneath the bar and come up. Bring the webbing, extra webbing up top. Then you want to feed it back through the buckle. So you complete the loop, pull the loop tight, and then feed it through the other side of the buckle to lock it in. Accident. Fix that. Pull it in. Put it up top. Get as tight as you can to the bar. And then <clears throat> what you want to do is take it and loop it back through the buckle one more time. To the, to the opposite side. This way it'll lock it in. And then what we want to do is take the excess and we'll just roll it up and we'll put a zip tie on it. Once you got the once you got the wrap started, it'll be easier to roll the rest away. And just roll it and recenter it. And then once you have it wrapped up, there's a tie wherever it went to. What was it this deal? What am I doing on? Get to the center of the webbing. Pull those down to lock it in. And then nice and tight. So go ahead and do the other side now. What you want to do is come on the bottom of the side of the bar, pull it up, and we'll try to make them as even as possible. That's pretty even right there, so 
Go ahead and feed it through. Pull it tight. Loop it back in. Snug it up. And now we'll roll it. Ah. Hard to get started. But once it's started, it's, it'll go pretty quick. And I'll just resign. And then roll it all the way back. And once it's there, grab your zip tie, go through the middle again, and then just lock it down. Oh, I know. Fix this. There we go. Just pushes it tight up. That wasn't there. Just go ahead and snug it up. That's not as tight as the other one, but. And then. We got about the same slack on both of them, so they're about even. So there's the there's the lap belts. Or the lap belts, I'm sorry, the shoulder belts. And we'll just cut the excess off. Alright, now we'll do the seats. Alright, so first thing first to install the lap belts. I mean the, the sub belt. Oh, now we're gonna get a mess. We need to pull out the cushion to make it easier. So go ahead and grab it in the back. Just pull forward. It's just held on by Velcro. That'll expose the hole in the bottom of the seat. So we need to take the lap belts upside down. Grab the both belts, feed them through the bottom of the pad here, into the hole. Grab them through. All right, that one's fixed. That one's right side up, so pull them through there. Then through the opening in the bottom of the seat, you'll see it as soon as you have the pad up, feed them down through there. Now we'll go ahead and put the pad back, back down. Just push it down so the Velcro locks in. Put the seat belt in the seat. And we'll go ahead and put the seat on its back a little bit. I actually need to get it. I don't want to sit down on the back without it. something down. So I got a cover to protect the back of the seat. So go ahead and sit it down. I just don't want to scratch the carbon fiber, that's all. Lay it down. Oh, well, it's 
the back. And then let me make sure the cameras. All right, install the harness, take the clip, go through here, pull it up. Actually, no, I did it wrong. Go through this way, there we go. This way, up through here, around, and then back through the clip to make a loop, pull it tight, back around again, and then back up through the clip on the other side. So through here. And then pull it tight. That way it won't come loose, and we'll wrap this up when we're done. So we'll do this one the same way. Through here. Over top. Back through. Pull it tight. Just make sure we're about even on each side. And then loop it around again, and then back through the top, through here, back through, and then tighten it up. Now we're tightened. Not going anywhere. And we'll go ahead and wrap these up. So that's the sub belt. All right, so I had to get a, a kit here. I'll show you guys. <clears throat> so I had to get the install kit from Schroth um, in order to, for you to keep using the uh, the factory lap belt and also the harnesses, you need the install kit from Schroth. But what I found out was these bolts here are too long to go in the factory location for the lightweight bucket seats. Uh, I'm not sure uh, because they're directly made for the seat unless they go into like a, a bracket bar or something. But they're supposed to be directly for the carbon bucket seats from Schroth, so I'm not sure. So I had to shorten the bolt down a little bit considerably, probably about maybe half an inch to get the fit. If not, the bolt will bottom out and hit the carbon bucket seat on the inside. But install it, uh, all you do is put the, the small washer, small washer goes on the bolt, then your harness bolts like this. Hold on. Make sure it's going right. Let's see here, make sure we're right side up. So. So bolt through here, then your spacer and then a large washer on the back. Then you put the factory buckle where it belongs. And you line it up and then start screwing the bolt in. Now we tighten it up. Now this is plenty of threads here on, on the bolt I cut because here's the original bolt that came out of there. As you can see, very small threads on there. And the camera can't see, but the threads on the bolt that I put in go all the way through the uh, the blind nut that's already in there. So there's plenty of uh, support there for both the, the regular seat belt and the harness. So that's that side, uh, we'll go ahead and get the seat back in the car and we'll go ahead and do the other side because we need to put it on the lap belt as well. All right, now, the, now that the seat's back in, we'll go ahead and install the 
outer edge uh, lap belt. So you're gonna need the, the bracket here. These are the brackets you need to get. Um, I think BBI Motorsports has them and then uh, somebody else has them. I'll try to post a link uh, below where I, uh, where you can pick them up at. But uh, go ahead and install this first. This just screws uh, where the old uh, All right, there's a factory one installed as well. So we'll go ahead and put this through. And all you do is uh, slide it right side up and clip it to the uh, hook. Pull it through. All right, lay the sub forward. And now we can pull the back through the sub. I'm sure it's going to go on the bottom one. Oops, oh, no, that's right. There they are installed. So I'll have to go ahead and give them a test try.
There we go, it fit pretty good. That's a, maybe some fine tuning adjustments, but I think if anything, I might redo the uh, shoulder belts, just take them back a little further. But that's pretty much it. And then to release them, you just pull up on the lap belts. Twist the lock, they all come off. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. That's a lightweight bucket seat uh, harness install.